Sean Sewell with the Engimit.com podcast. Welcome back to another quick episode. This one will be about 10 to 15 minutes, and I'm going to cover what we've been working on, what the writers have reviewed, videos they've shot, meetings we've had, what we're going to be working on in the near future, and future guests on the podcast, as well as future reviews from companies such as Nomadic, Gore-Tex, Jack Wolfskin, uh, Patagonia, North Face, and so many others. So this will be a quick episode, but just basically I want to give you a, a rundown of what we've done, what the writers are up to, and where you can learn more about it. All right, let's starting from today, moving backwards for about two or three weeks. Today, my man Andrew Piotrowski out there on the East Coast just released his Mustang Survival Kalen Bib Pant Review. Now, Andrew is our resident stand-up paddleboard, kayaker, rafter, canoeer out there in the East Coast. So he has been covering a lot of fun stuff. Most recently, he did a thermal rest, um, sleeping pad review, uh, a lot of trail running reviews, and this is his most recent one. And it's also a YouTube video to accompany it. I always appreciate his videos. does a great job with that. Up next, uh, Jack Wolfskin. It's a German company, I believe founded in 1981. And uh, new to us, we had not worked with them before, so I didn't know what to expect. And we're used to working with pretty high-end or very high-end companies, as you know. Jack Wolfskin still has, um, say, 700 fill down in their jackets they sent us, as well as recycled materials. Uh, still a very good build quality for about half or maybe a third of the price of the brands we usually work with. So that was fun to cover a category of clothing in a price range that's more accommodating to a lot of people. It's still very effective. In fact, I used the North Climate jacket they sent. It's the down jacket. It's a parka. Uh, in the coldest week of the year, it's negative 15 degrees on a lot of days uh, Fahrenheit here in Denver, Colorado. And tonight we're going winter camping, and I'm taking that jacket as well. I think the high is going to be 15 and a low of something in the negative, so it'll be a great jacket for that. And again, price point, very fair. I have a review on that jacket as well as the hybrid jacket, which is um, be something like the... Arcteryx Atom LT, but with down instead of synthetic materials. So, you know, and then the price point is $120. Super cost effective. All right, up next, Peak Design. Now, Peak Design, if you know uh, camera equipment and camera bags, Peak Design makes very high end uh, duffel bags, camera bags, and the camera I'm currently shooting on right now has their quick attach connector. It's uh, probably the best in the business. So we're working on the Duffel Pack 65 liter uh, bag. It is a really cool, well-built, um, waterproof, not submersibly waterproof, but waterproof zippers and weatherproof design duffel bag. Uh, how the review will be up on Monday. And then they released, and this is currently available for free, a movie with Wild Confluence Films called Understory. So that's um, a write-up on gearman.com with a link to go watch that for free before it goes on the film tour. Um, won a bunch of awards. And then my man, Drew Thayer, uh, new father, trail runner, um, very active person. He's been working with Shower, Showers Pass to do a review on their Cloudburst jacket. And he's used it for running uh, in the snow and in the rain and uh, for cross-country skiing and a bunch of other activities. So he has that up. And then there's a really big review that he did with his wife and I did the video with with him uh, for the Patagonia DOS Light jacket. The DOS Light is like the jacket of 2021. Everybody I know that sees the video goes out and buys it. Moss Yahoo, I'm talking about you especially. And they get the chartreuse color, which is the yellow color I have in the video. It's the same color that Andrew and his wife um, have in their, their video or their, their write-up. It's such a good jacket. So it's nice to see his point of view and his wife's point of view on that same jacket. Because you know me, I'm a split border, dog dead, yeti, you know. So it's nice to get his point of view from a climbing perspective, from a trail running perspective, as well as his wife's. So, and we're gonna do a lot more of these two or three or four person reviews on the equipment because I wanna to present to you how we all see the outdoors. And I'd like to know how you see the outdoors and how the gear helps you enjoy those activities as well. It's just wonderful. If you're getting outside having fun, that's all we really care about. And if we can help you find gear that allows you to enjoy it even more, then we're very happy. All right, up next, uh, Pock Helmets released their lightest ever cycling helmet, the Ventral Light. We have a PR scoop on that. And then moving right along, we have a backpack review. I have it right here. Hang tight. From Nomadic. So as you can see, I've been, I've been using this one for about two weeks now. I have the video review up on YouTube and the write-up as well. And like Peak Designs, they make really high-end backpacks with nice zipper pulls that are weatherproof, waterproof. Uh, great, great stuff. And then that's just the tip of the iceberg. So that's the everyday 
backpack and they bill it as the world's most um, uh, versatile backpack. And it is, it's, it adjusts from 20 liters to 24 liters. It's got RFID pockets. It's really well laid out. We have detailed review and a 4K video on that as well. This is a real cool part. Uh, Peter McKinnon, he's a YouTube sensation, uh, professional photographer. He collaborated with Nomadic and made um, his own backpack. And so I have that right behind me out of sight. And I'm going to go take it into a winter storm tonight to put it through the paces and test it out for the next few weeks. So um, that's a very high end camera content creator backpack, about 400 bucks. So stay tuned for that review from our friend Nicole Doty, the resident mother outdoorsy badass. She's working on a Kickstarter project for Kane uh, Revive Shoes. They're sustainable and very uh, good looking. They're funky looking, but they're really cool. So she had a lot of fun with that. And then this jacket I'm wearing right now is from Cool. Cool, um, it's no secret that I love Cool. Pretty much any video, the 700 videos up on YouTube you see, if I'm not testing out ski or splitboard clothing or down jackets, I'm usually in Cool stuff cool pants cool short uh shorts cool shirts uh cool this right here this is an interceptor fleece full zip and i had the review up in the video as well on that and the pants i'm wearing i'm not going to stand up in the camera right now but it is the cool destroyer pants so those are up msr oh mountain safety research great company love these guys um we have two things to talk about them today the first one is uh, they have a new thing called the weight team and you can submit to be sponsored by them for your adventures. So if you want to get gear for free and tell your story to the world, this is how you do it with MSR's away team. There's, there's a link on gamer.com how to get started with that. Our resident equestrian badass Eliza Lockhart did a great review for Bronwyn undergarments. So she's launching her underwear modeling career as of last week. And, um, uh, they make great undergarments for uh, all shapes and sizes of women. They're very comfortable. She does a great job in her write-up for that. And she's inspired me to get back to doing my boxer reviews. I have a lot of reviews to get done for sex and undergents and some other companies. And so um, I just need to get the courage and get on YouTube in my boxers and shoot the videos and get those done for you guys. And then this is really cool. Uh, yesterday I had an exclusive meeting with a new company and um, they will be public in about two weeks on Indiegogo. And I'm going to do a podcast with them uh, this Wednesday in a few days to talk about their creation story, who they are, what they're doing. But I'm going to give you a little teaser because I'm super excited about this. Um, two, two people left Arcteryx after several years, six plus years working with Arcteryx and, you know, super high end clothing to create their own clothing company. Now that's not the, the coolest part. The coolest part is they take your measurements and, make a garment specifically for you. Meaning for myself, I have a hard time finding jackets because I'm a little bit bigger in the chest and upper back. And then I have a little bit skinnier of a waist. I know first world problem, but, um, so I have to go to extra large jacket and I have a lot of room in the gut. So, you know, it was kind of bubbly. So, uh, they're going to fix that. And, uh, men and women, all kinds of colors. It's really cool. And they're called made. And we have an interview with made on Wednesday. So, um, uh, very excited about that. Um, other clothing coming out, Candide, the crazy French skier. Oh my God. Have you ever seen the videos he's done for uh, Audi and other videos? He's just the point of view skier who's doing crazy stuff. He has his own line of clothing coming out. And then this was a lot of fun. One of my favorite people to have on the podcast, Brad Kearns. Uh, it's the second time being on the Gearmet podcast. He has a new book coming out called Two Meals a Day with his um, partner, Mark Sisson. And Mark Sisson, you probably know Mark's Daily Apple, uh, Primal Kitchen, great food from them. Uh, Mark cupboards have tons of Primal Kitchen avocado oil and mayonnaise and all the things. And then Primal Blueprint, fantastic book. Uh, they, they wrote a book together called Two Meals a Day, basically simplifying intermittent fasting. And so Brad jumps on the show to talk about that. It's a great episode. It's so fun. We talked about Brad's morning routines. And after that episode, I went out the next day and filmed my mobility drills, part one, two, and three, um, that I do with all my students. And as you can see, there's a T-Rex right there and some kettlebells out. I just got done training um, a family remotely, which is what I do every day, train people remotely when I'm not doing the engagement. And so it was great to pick Brad's brain about what he does in the morning to get prepared for his adventures out there in Tahoe. Gore-Tex. Oh my goodness. This is a little fun project. So I get a box in the mail. Wasn't anticipating it. 
from Gore-Tex. In it is a note. Please try us out. Let us know what you think. Th thanks, Gore-Tex. Thanks for sending me this jacket. It's a bright red jacket, and it says Gore-Tex Pro Shell New. Little thumb drive right here. Let me pull it out real quick. And it goes over the specs on the Gore-Tex. I guess, boom, right there. Gore-Tex specs on the new Pro Shell. So Pro Shell is already the highest end waterproof breathable membrane out there. That's debatable, I'm sure, to some of you. But, um, you know, lifetime guarantee, windproof, waterproof, it always works. So how do you improve upon the best? Well, they did it in three ways. There's three new Gore-Tex Pro Shells. There's Pro Shell Durable, Pro Shell Breathable, and Pro, Throw, Pro Shell Stretch. So the jacket they sent over is a prototype spec jacket. You can't purchase it, but it has all three of those Pro Shells in it. And I have a 4K video up on our Engearment.com YouTube channel and a write-up as well on Engearment.com on the improvements upon Gore-Tex Pro Shell. And then they were really impressed with that, and they asked if we can do a podcast with Gore-Tex. So we're going to, uh, kind of skipping ahead here, future guests will be Gore-Tex, MSR, Gregory Backpacks, and Thermarest. Very exciting to hear more about them, not just talking about their products, but like their why, why they start their companies, what they're working on, where they're going. So something to look forward to. And it's fun too, because we're really in this fitness realm where, you know, number nine in Japan for a fitness podcast and number 17 in Netherlands last week. And I love that. It's fantastic. But we're also all about outdoors and, and gear and what's coming out. That's how this channel started. This podcast started. So it's nice to, to bring that back into the fold and um, share with you what, gets them excited and hopefully gets you excited too. So to look forward to speaking of Thermarest, um, obviously we do a lot of winter camping. I'm actually packing up to go winter camping right now up at Jones pass. Imagine that. And, uh, Thermarest sent over a two person winter camping kit. So we'll have reviews on their quilt and, um, inflatable sleeping pads and compressible pillows. And most, almost all of those are made in America, which is really cool. And we're also gonna be testing the solo stove out tonight. Uh, we had fire bans all summer, so I could not do the test for solo stove. So sorry, solo stove, but we we're going to do it here in the middle of winter. So be even more attractive. And then what else have we covered? Um, nomadic, cool. I think that catches you up on the reviews we've done, what the writers are up to, what we're working on coming up next. And um, yeah, I think we got that done in 12 minutes. Awesome. So you're caught up on reviews. You're caught up on future podcast guests. Well, future podcast guests, I'm going to have Pat Flynn back on, Dan John, reach out to Brett Jones. And uh, so from the fitness industry, get those guys back on because they're my mentors. I appreciate them. Get them back on. And then uh, Gore-Tex, MSR, Gregory Backpacks, and Thermarest will be coming on. And then immediately made, which is that bespoke ski clothing. So uh, really excited to share that story with you guys. And then, um, yeah, a lot more in the works next few weeks. Don't want to spill the beans too much. I think I gave you enough to process for now. And, um, oh yeah, stickers. I get in a lot of emails to get stickers. If you want some gearman stickers or code all personal fitness stickers, I am more than happy to send you out some. Just email me, sean at gearman.com. I'll send you out some. So, uh, hopefully I gave you a little bit of a uh, 12, 13 minutes to chew on some fun stuff and, uh, I'll have links below for uh the podcast with brad kearns my three mobility drills you can do at home with no equipment necessary whatsoever they cover the back of the neck all the way to your toes uh, and again they're free they take three or four minutes to do each one i shot them in the mountains so you can do them at home you can do them anywhere no equipment necessary whatsoever i'll have links to those below and uh, other resources that might help you um get outside and have fun all right sean sewell gimmick.com podcast until next time Take care.